Hey first grade, you guys want to show your husky pride? Why don't we draw a husky for our next lesson? Now, before we do that, let's read a book by Jessica Hitch called Tomorrow I'll Be Brave. And then we'll do some artwork based on it, which is right over here. So anyways, I'm Mr. Mill. Welcome to The Drawing Mill. This one's called Tomorrow I'll Be Brave by Jessica Hitch and um, the pictures are by her too. All right. Tomorrow, I'll be adventurous. And I'll play and I'll explore. I'll make or learn or try something I've never done before. Tomorrow, I'll be strong. I'll climb and jump and run. It doesn't matter if I win, as long as I have fun. Tomorrow I'll be smart. I'll think before I act. I'll solve a puzzle, read a book, and learn a fun new fact. Tomorrow I'll be curious. Please teach me something new. I'll ask why a million times. Why, 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 why? <laughs> Maybe a million too. Tomorrow, I'll be creative. I'll color and draw for hours. I'll play a game of make-believe and use my magic powers. Tomorrow, I'll be confident. I'll be proud of all I know. I'll stop and smile and think about how much you've helped me grow. Tomorrow I'll be brave. There's nothing I can't do. I won't be scared, but if I am, I know that I have you. Tomorrow, I'll be all the things I tried to be today. Adventurous, strong, smart, curious, creative, confident, and brave. And if I wasn't one of them, I know that it's okay. But tonight, I'm very sleepy, so now it's time to rest. Tomorrow, I'll be all these things, or at least I'll try my best. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that book. I'm sure I did. Uh, let's do a project based on what we just read. In order to celebrate that we are Homestead, uh, I figured why not draw a husky? So I made this worksheet and normally I give it to you guys during the classroom, but uh, since we're not in the classroom, uh, this will have to do. So um, it's actually nice and simple. There's only six easy steps. All you gotta do is follow along. Uh, if you wanna watch it first, then try again, you can. And remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video. And that's what's so great about e-learning is that uh, there's the ability to pause, go at your own pace, and we can go from there. Step number one, we need to make a circle. Now, when it comes to circles, you can use uh, either your free hand, you can just do it by free, you can just do it on your own, or um, you can do something a little bit easier and use like something like um, a can, or in my case, I'm gonna use uh, a piece of tape. Now, before I start my circle, look at steps number two and three. You're gonna have to do three in total, so two right beside each other, and then, the third one below that and make sure that you know that they are overlapping a little bit. So I'm going to draw something that's wrong. So you don't want to go like this. Okay. The reason why that's wrong is because they're right next to each other. You want to make sure the circles are overlapping a little bit and that they're on top of each other. So let's try that first. So I'm going to put my first circle right around here. And I'm going to put my next circle right beside it but on top of it just like that now the third circle is going to go in the middle and right below it but it's still overlapping now if you did it right you should have a little triangle that's upside down in the middle so let's try that and see what happens so right now i'm measuring my circle just like this but since i'm using the inside of a tape i can see the triangle already so it's a little bit easier for me to see where i'm at and if i take it out it looks just like step number three so that's great so if you guys don't know what that triangle is for, it's actually going to be the nose. So if you want to label it as the nose, you can. So I'm just going to color it in a little bit. 
And then I'm gonna add little spots on each side for where the whiskers would go for a husky. And then now, if you look at this little part right here, this is supposed to this is supposed to be the mouth. So now I'm just gonna add little teeth on each side. They don't have to be sharp teeth if you don't want to. Just like that. And now I can add either two eyes open or I can add one eye open and one eye closed. So I'm gonna do um, one eye open, add a little shade to it. I'm gonna do the other eye closed, okay? Now, if you wanna add eyelashes or a bow later on, you can. Uh, for these purposes, I'm not. So now, all I have to do now is decide if I want my mouth, my mouth closed or if I want my mouth open. Now, I want my mouth open, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a nice big U connecting from tooth to tooth. And then I'm going to add the tongue right in there, just like that. And then if you want, you could shade the inside so it's nice and dark, just like that. And now we can finish off the outside of the husky. So in order to fin finish the outside of the husky, we need two pointy ears. I'm gonna do one right here, so that's represented by a triangle. And there's gonna be another triangle directly opposite of that on the other side. Now, when it comes to the fur, there's different ways you can do it. Uh, you can kind of make it spiky like this. You can make it like loop-de-loop -loop like this, so a little more fluffy. Or you can do it your own way, it doesn't matter to me. You know, it doesn't matter to me, you can do it your own way as well. Um, so for me, I like to start in the top middle, maybe a little bit of a little spike in the middle like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of like go one way. And then as I go down, I go outwards a little more. And then I'll go on this side, do the exact same thing. And then I'll make sure I go down. And then making sure I'm not too close to the circle. Because if I go too close to the circle, it's going to look super skinny of a husky. You don't want that, so you'll make sure you go out a tad bit. And there we go. So now, for you guys to see it a little bit better, I am going to use a black marker. And remember, if you're using marker, make sure you are having something underneath your surface or underneath your paper so it doesn't go through and ruin a kitchen table or a coffee table or anything like that. So I want to make sure you have something underneath to protect your surface. So right now, I'm just going to outline everything so you guys can see it way better. And I'm going to go a little bit fast. So if I speed up this video, uh, no worries, you can always pause it. Alright. All right, now you can notice when I'm tracing the circle, I'm not tracing the whole entire circle. I'm only tracing the outsides of the circle. If you want to trace the whole circle, you can, but uh, I'm not. So here we go. And then I'm just going to trace over here, over here a little bit. And then I'm just going to leave the bottom part as it is. Okay, now I can do some fun stuff. I can start coloring. So I'm going to make my husky gray. I'm gonna make the ears pink. Make the tongue pink while I'm at it. And there you go, my husky's all done. I might as well put some school pride on it by writing down some stuff about it. So why don't I write down, write, why don't I write down, come on. Why don't I write down, huskies are brave. There you go, I'm all done. Um, you don't have to go as fast as I did, obviously. I did go a little bit fast, just so I can make sure I make it under 15 minutes so you guys can watch it on time. Um, uh, you can erase some of the pencil lines if you'd like to make it more clean, and don't forget to put your name on it. That's what real artists do. So I wanna make sure I put my initials on it somewhere, put it right there. Ta-da! All right, now I'm officially done. Anyways, hope you guys like this video. Um, I can't wait to see you guys 
uh, on the next one. And if you guys want to share what you guys have done, make sure to show me by emailing me your photos at bmail at sd308.org. And I can't wait to see them if you'd like to share them. All right, anyways, hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.